too much to ever tell you that Batman Forever is a good movie. It's not. Batman Forever is, I'm not going to say terrible, but it's not good. Infinitely better than Batman and Robin, of course, but still not a masterpiece of its own right. That said, I did always sort of gravitate towards the designs of those vehicles. Like, even in some ways, I'm, I kind of like the Batmobile from Batman Forever a bit more than the 89 and Batman Returns. I, I don't know, I just like the, the point of it, the way it's shaped. It's always been a kind of a favorite of mine. Um, and as a kid, one of the coolest things I ever had was the Batman Forever triple action vehicle. It's a, it's a mouthful for sure. Uh, but what it did was it took the three vehicles from Batman Forever, your Batwing, your Batmobile, your Batboat, and offered them all up to you at a pretty reasonable cost. Uh, it didn't have any kind of electronics, no missiles, no lights, nothing like that. You may have had an individual ones, but you got all three of them. And it's pretty cool. And a lot of people don't even remember this ever being a thing that existed. So it's, it's pretty cool to have sort of this odd kind of, you know, bit of a halfway forgotten Batman toy lore. Uh, so let's take a look at the Batman Forever triple action vehicle. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start with the Batmobile. This shouldn't take long. There's not a whole lot to see, but it's all kind of worth looking at. Uh, so, yeah, this is the first Schumacher-designed Batmobile. I know it's not completely accurate, because I do believe the Batmobile had a two-prong thing. It kind of split at the top, so it's got to be whopping around two of them. But even so, this is not a bad representation of that. You, know, you got your turbines on the back. you got all this really cool detail sculpted into it. Um, I believe, you know, in the movie, a lot of this stuff had, like, blue lights in it, you know, so there's no paint apps for the lights or anything like that, because why wouldn't the Batmobile be covered in lights, you know, why would he need to be stealthy? He wants to be fabulous and shiny and, you know, full of bright neon lights, whatever. Um, so, yeah, but this is not a bad version of that. Like, uh, it's pretty cool. They, got, they do have the Bat logos on the wheels. I don't, I still, to this day, don't know why the hell it does this, but both, both sides do this. I mean, they, there was no purpose of this toy, and to my knowledge, there's nothing that kind of came after this that worked with it, but it just kind of did, and I, I, don't, I don't know what the hell that's about. So, whatever. So, there we go. Uh, there's a cockpit inside. There's a Batman in here, too, still, after all this time. I think... Yeah, he doesn't fit in there totally awesome, so this might be... I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's a... This is a Clooney Batman right here, so he doesn't fit in there totally right, but, you know... There's a Batman, kind of show you how big it is. There is some detailing in the cockpit. There's uh, some decals for like control panels and the seat has some texture into it. It's pretty cool. And there's the Batmobile. But this thing, like I said, is sort of all the vehicles from the movie, which is pretty nice. So all you have to do is just these back wheels come off and the front part comes off and you're left with kind of like this fuselage looking deal. And some additional pieces came with it. This guy right here, this little, like, shoe-looking thing. You just fly that sucker right down in there, and now you got yourself a bat boat. Which is pretty damn cool. And this might actually be even more accurate, because I don't think the boat had the two splitty prong here. But again, just all the ridges and stuff like that, you know, it's, it looks very pointy and ridgy. But, you know, you got the, you do see the slots here kind of show a little bit in this mode. Um, I don't, I mean, I guess, never really thought about it, but I don't know for sure if this thing floats or not. I'm not sure. But it looks pretty damn cool. Just, I don't know, it just captures, look pretty damn well. And again, you kind of pull off this thing, you're left with fuselage. Probably doesn't take a rocket scientist to see where this is going next. These giant wings. They're absolutely ridiculous. They're huge. They just peg right on the sides, clip on there. And do one more. Yeah. And then you have the gigantic, humongous bat wing. You get the whole thing in the frame here. It's huge. It's ridiculous how damn big it is. That's what she said. But no, there you go. It's pretty cool. They, they did do a lot more. Uh, there's really nice detailing in the wings, too. Instead of just making them flat, like you have these cool uh, this turbine look here to kind of do some, some the vertical takeoff. I think there may be some guns kind of etched in here. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really nice. No joke. Like, it's pretty, pretty slick. So there you have 
your Batwing from Batman Forever. So yeah, not just mean this really. Can't front. It's not a great movie. It's not more watchable than Batman and Robin. Yes, but not great. But the vehicle designs always are pretty cool. They're some of my favorites. And this toy sort of shows off a lot of those things. So yeah, yeah. I can't really. I don't know what this thing is running for on eBay. Like I said, a lot of times people don't even remember that it exists. I, I don't know if you have to pay a lot for it, if you can find one or whatever, but if you can, you know, if you find one, if this looks cool, I can't recommend it highly enough. Like, it looks pretty damn awesome. Like, it's uh, it's what you want out of a Batman Forever Bat, Bat set of vehicles, for sure. It's pretty awesome. So if you want one, hit the eBay's. Find this. Pretty damn cool. You no, know, this one's damn near twenty years old. The plastic's still nice and translucent. It's not yellow too bad. Like it's solid, man. Be Batman forever. <laughs> Just touching those things again. I have kiss from a rose going on my head already. Uh, so that, that's it. Like I said, I, I I love it. I think it's very cool. Um, you don't, you're not gonna, you don't see many people talking about it, and, you know, it's, those are cool designs. They've always been pretty neat. Certainly better than the convertible Batman and Robin Batmobile, because why would Batman want to protect his head from anybody while driving through the city? Uh, that's it for this time. Go to panelsonpages.com. Check out our content every single day. Listen to the podcast Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central at chat.panelsonpages.com. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the website at subscribe.panelsonpages.com. And, uh, yeah, we're going to look at, uh, next time, we're going to be looking at an itty bitty sort of uh, special thing that I, I, I did not know existed until I was looking for something else completely. So I'll come back and we'll look at that. And, uh, yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.